Number eight, Springfield set for the one man who can clean up the town and shoot the gangsters. Rex Banner. This department now. Wiggum, you're out. Suspended indefinitely. Tuck in that shirt. Get those shoes shined. Take that badge out of your mouth. You're police officers. Well, what are you waiting for? Somebody to kiss you goodbye? Well, no, 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 I guess not. Wasting no time, Rex Banner tore into the bootleggers like a chippy tearing into a lobster. <laughs> First, I thought prohibition was a good thing. People were drinking more and having a lot more fun. But without beer, prohibition doesn't work. Hey, hi. Can I arrest any of you people for anything? No. Ah, uh, jeez, I don't have anything to do anymore. With Banner around, alcohol and crime are history in this town. And so am I. Now, don't say that. Alcohol is a way of life. Alcohol is my way of life, and I aim to keep it. Sounds like you have a plan. Maybe I do, Chief. Maybe I do. Come on, boy, think of a plan. I'm trying, Dad. Kent Brockman at the now-closed Duff Bottling Plant, where a mysterious person in black keeps a solitary vigil. Uh, I got it! We're going out, Marge! If we don't come back, avenge our death! All right! Whoa, bonanza! Let's load it up before the rats regroup. Right, now remember... Don't mention this to anyone. Not your mother, not Rex Banner, not anyone. Uh. <laughs> Rex Banner, what a dope. Yeah, look at him trying to aim that stupid gun. Forty-five bucks. Forty-five bucks? Well, this better be the best-tasting pizza. 